you're an old friend, it's good to see you again. Up to this point in time in Japan, I felt like I have not been able to talk about this topic, but after five months here, I feel like I have gained enough experience to be able to share what it's truly like to be gaijin. What is gaijin, you may ask? Well, gaijin is the Japanese word for foreigner or outsider. So I have some pretty fantastical experiences that I would like to share with you today and some、uh, not so great ones. However, I have not eaten today, so I thought it would be fun to go get a picnic and go to the park. I hope you will、uh, stick around and come along with me. Okay, here we are at the park. It's beautiful, it's picnic time. So sometimes I confuse the tuna rice ball sandwiches things with、um, <laughs> the fish egg kind. And, and every time I do that, one, I convince myself, like I try to convince myself, it's tuna, it's tuna, it's tuna. Because it tastes just like tuna. It's just a little, like, little bit more spicier. But just convince myself that it's tuna so I can finish it because I already bought it. And then two, I always think of the part in Finding Nemo with the little fish eggs, and, and you know, like, he's turning over the little, like, fish egg. And I'm like, it's not Nemo. It's not Nemo. You're not eating Nemo. It's okay. Just eat the fish eggs. Just keep eating, just keep eating. Just keep eating, just keep eating.、Mm. Let's kick this video off with some positive stories first. Uh, being a gaijin in Japan, you sometimes seriously feel like you are famous. So, for one instance, some friends and I we were going to a music festival at Matsushima and we were asking for some directions or recommendations to which bands we should be sure not to miss. And by the end of it, we had a line of people wanting to take photos with us. They were just super excited that there were, you know, three gaijin there interested in the same kind of music that they were. And they were Snapchatting and Facebooking and Facebook Live with us. It was really fun.、Um, that same trip, there was kind of like some publicity for the, the music festival. And、um, they were coming around and they were, I think. Being trying to take photos to advertise for next year. So, they, like, three or four times, they would grab our group of friends and they would, like, position us certain places and just, like, snap photos of us、um, because, like, I guess they wanted to advertise that, like, you know, it's not just for Japanese people, that other people travel there to see that music, you know, festival too. So, they were taking photos of us.、Um, then we stopped to see a jazz band at one point and Before I knew it, I looked up, I had like bought a coffee, and I looked over at my friends, and there was like a line of young Japanese girls just wanting to take photos with us. And they were doing like all the like hand things that I don't know how to do, like the things like this and stuff. It was really cute. You know, I'm actually pretty lucky. The company I work for, they've been around for、um, I think 50 years now. So, in a way, I live in like a little American bubble. And the city that I live in, they're very familiar with having gaijin around and in the stores and seeing them in restaurants and stuff. So, when I'm in my little city,、um, people they treat me pretty normal. Like, I'm not really gawked at or like looked at strangely.、Um, but as soon as I mean, like, I could travel like 15, 20 minutes outside of my little town. And come in contact with Japanese people, and like whatever I do, I am like the funniest thing, I am the most interesting thing, I am the most scary thing, I am the most beautiful thing they have ever seen、um, all at once. <laughs> so I get, you know, like mixed, mixed reactions from all sorts of people. Some people are, go out of their way to avoid me,、um, some people. They want to you know, be closer. They want to look at me. They want to see what my face looks like, what, you know, how my hair curls naturally. In some ways, they may even take my photo without、um, my permission. And 
I hate that. That makes me so uncomfortable. Um, but my favorite thing when I travel outside of my city, being a gaijin, is when small children come up to me and they want to practice their English. And they'll come up and they'll say, gaijin, gaijin, and they'll say, hello, or hi. And then I like to surprise them back by saying, oh, konnichiwa, you know, or something like that. And their eyes just go huge, and they're so excited, and they'll run over and tell their purse, gaijin, gaijin. And that's just, that's really cute. I feel like that's another, like, positive, happy experience of being different and um, sharing my culture with their culture. And I like that kind of stuff a lot. I really, really do. Um, I mean, overall... I think I've had pretty positive experiences being someone different. Um, this is my, the first time in my life that I've ever been a minority. Um, and just to wrap this video up, I feel like it's a very good experience to be a minority, to, to be immersed completely in someone else's culture, to, you know, every day look at something completely unfamiliar and, and try to adapt. Um, I know that's not always the best thing to be a minority, but I do feel like uh, in this day and age, I think it's a pretty good perspective in my life to have now, and I know it's changed me for the better. Um, you know, I would love, though, to hear what you guys think about, is that a positive thing to be a minority? Um, could it have super negative side effects? Um, have you ever been a minority? Have you ever been a foreigner? Um, what have your experiences been like? Have they been positive? Have they been negative? How do you think they've affected you in the long run? Um, and I'd love more, I'd love some advice my way too. Have you lived in Japan before? Um, how have you combated being different everywhere you go? <laughs> I would love to hear that. I would I would love to grow from this. So thank you for watching. I'm probably gonna go get um, some dinner now because girl can eat. Let me tell you. Anyways. So, thank you for watching. I hope to have another video up soon. I am planning a trip to Tokyo with my parents who will be here so soon, so soon. So I'll be going to Tokyo and I'll be filming that too. So stick around if you would like to see more of my life. I'm living here in Japan and um, I'll be sharing more of my experiences and more of my travels around Japan. And if you would like to stick around for that, uh, please you know, hit the little subscribe button uh, and let me know that you've subbed and I would love to sub back to you. I'm a small YouTuber and I would love to make more friends this way. I love the friends that I already have here on my channel and I love following their channel back. It, I just think it's a great, great friendship that we have developed and I'd love to make one with you. Okay, goodbye friends and family. I'll see you soon.